947 here on 13 ABC. It is time now to imagine it. We have Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist from the Imagination Station. He's huffing, he's puffing, and he's blowing stuff up here. And that's uh, that's your job, though. That's a pretty cool job. It is. <laughs> and, you know, since it's your birthday, I thought I would leave you today with a little science that you could do around birthday balloons Excellent. or wedding balloons, whatever you happen to be around today. All right, all right. Okay, so what I want you to do is put your safety glasses on. Yeah, let's do that. Take this balloon, it's just a latex balloon, okay. and I want you to very, very carefully lower it onto the flame. Just the way we saw you doing a few seconds ago. Just here. go ahead and lower it down. Let's just see what happens. It's gonna burst. Yeah. Okay. It also extinguishes the flame. Extinguishes the flame. No great surprise there, but I just want you to know that it's not a trick balloon, right? But this balloon, I've added some water to the inside of it. Just plain water. Just plain water. Okay. I want you to do the same experiment. I want right. you to lower that very carefully, but keep the water. On, over the flame. Okay. So lower it down. Keep going. Keep all going. Right, keep right. going. We want to actually touch the flame. Wow. Okay. And so the, that flame is in contact with the latex. Careful. Keep it centered. Oh. 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 And I think you actually sprung a little. <laughs> but that's okay. But check this out. Check this out. Though. It terrific. does not. It does not burst. Right. It's the so balloon's wild. in contact with the flame. What's happening here is a concept called heat capacity. Okay. okay. Water has a tremendous ability to absorb heat, and so the water was actually pulling the heat away from the surface of the balloon. If we put the balloon in sideways. It pops, makes a big mess. You will get wet. You will get a little wet. <laughs> now, I mean, that's like a little party balloon, right? And a little yeah. candle. We could amp it up a bit with a paper cup. Of course. So what I want you to do, fill this paper cup all the way to the top with the water there. Okay. Okay. Get it completely filled up. And we're not going to use a candle this time. We're going to use two blow torches on this paper cup. Till it over. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. So take your torch here. All right. We're both just going to blast the <laughs> sides and front of this cup with the torch. Okay. You can see. You can get, get, get right in there and blast the darn thing. Yeah. It starts to brown on the outside. It starts to get a little crispy, but the cup does not avoid the seam, though. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the cup does not burst into flames. It doesn't fall apart, right? Even though we're blasting it with two blow torches less than an inch away from the paper. And you can actually stay in one spot. It doesn't go away. Wow. Stop for a second. Stick your finger in the water. OK. Just te test the temperature. Wow, that's warm, yeah. It's really warm because, right. again, that water is absorbing the heat that we're blasting it with. Now, just to show that it's not a trick cup, you have the honors. Go ahead, All blast right. it one more time. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This is without water on the inside. No everyone. water on the inside. You can stop now. I think it's it's pretty much just going to burn up at this point. I was having fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, don't try this one at home. But you can see, without the water inside there to absorb that heat, the cup is just going to burn up. Now, why are we doing this? Is it just a clever party trick? For you, it may be. Yeah, yes. maybe. Sure. But meteorologists talk about events such as El Nino. Mm -hmm. Right, warm water from the bottom of the ocean rises up to the surface, releases that heat energy that the water has into mm -hmm. the atmosphere. Right, has all sorts of effects for climate. Yeah, even you know, even in Michigan, Upper Michigan, you can grow grapes and uh, make wine in the northern areas because Lake Michigan moderates that climate. Okay, so this concept of heat capacity is really—it's more than a parlor trick. It, it's really kind of important for meteorologists and physicists in general. Right, I see Kelly doing this back there <laughs> behind the storm it, lab. A, She's always burning thing. cups. All right, we're going to set off the smoke alarms here, Carl. Well, but thanks get, very much for the demo, and I'm going to try this later on at my birthday party. But uh, <laughs> for now, if you want to try something like this at home, please use adult supervision, ask your parents, and don't try the cup-burning one, maybe just the balloon one. Imagine it. You can do it there safely at any time. Go on down to One Discovery Way. They're open today already, and then Tuesday through Saturday, Sunday at noon to 5. Thanks again, Carl, for coming down, sure. showing us all of your party tricks. This guy's full of them. He's got one every week. Science. It's science. Science, science right. tricks. That is Imagine It. <laughs> We're going to turn it now over to Dave with sports.